La dernière catégorie de la soirée est la médaille d'or d'or décernée pour souligner une réalisation individuelle exceptionnelle et comme distinction dans un domaine d'application du génie. The final award for the evening is the gold medal award for exceptional achievement and distinction in the field of engineering. I think the success depends on what you create scientifically and what you created is used in industry successfully. Joseph Altintas, a fellow of the Royal Society of Canada and professional engineer, is a member of APEG BC and a professor of mechanical engineering at the University of British Columbia. Il est reconnu dans le monde entier comme le grand spécialiste des technologies d'usinage à grande vitesse. I have been in love with production engineering. I love to produce things. That's what manufacturing engineering is. Yes. Uh, if you don't uh, have a passion, if you're not in, in love with the field, you will not be creative and you may not enjoy the life much. I, I'm lucky. I enjoy what I'm doing. He has contributed significantly to manufacturing engineering literature with the highest citation record in the field, particularly his theory of kinematics and chatter vibration stability in milling. Dr. Altintas has brought to the industry virtual machining technology. This allows evaluation and optimization without costly on-machine testing, which was impossible in the past. This technology will enable the design and manufacturing of products without first resorting to costly physical trials and will benefit the Canadian aerospace, automotive, power generation, mold making and automation systems industries. Les travaux de Youssouf auront une incidence considérable sur l'industrie manufacturière à l'échelle mondiale. Il est également le président fondateur de Manufacturing Automation Laboratories, qui distribue des applications pratiques de sa recherche à la fine pointe de la technologie, à plus de 140 entreprises et universités de partout dans le monde. Everyone in the research community hold Dr. Alton Tyson in very high regard, you know, for the quality of the work that's been done here and, you know, the, the practical significance also that it's, it's benefiting uh, companies in Canada and worldwide. I learned from him how to complete projects with commercial companies, how to approach commercial companies and present them um, uh, a research finding in a way that they can adapt into their operations. Originaire de la Turquie, Youssouf a commencé ses études en génie à l'Université d'Istanbul. Le maintien et la promotion de ses racines turques lui tiennent à cœur. I grew up in a small farming community. Uh, my father was a tailor first and he started a winery. Now, it is a large winery. It wasn't when I was a kid. We were hardly surviving. When you grow up in a very small town, and you develop community understanding. Everyone knows each other. Everyone helps each other. He cares about the people of his community and serves them with great compassion. I love the community involvement. Canada, being a multicultural country, is actually benefiting greatly from having people like Yusuf migrating to Canada and making great contributions, which is making his ex-country very proud, but also Canada is very, very proud as well. For his passion for machining technology and his dedication to the manufacturing industry, Engineers Canada is extremely proud to present the 2011 Gold Medal Award to Yusuf Altintas, PNG. collected the leftover. <laughs> well, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Engineers Canada and APEC-BC 
not only for recognizing my contributions, but also recognizing my family name. Uh, my family name is Altuntaş, which means gold stone in Turkish. Uh, I don't think that was the reason, but it helped. Anyway, I'd like to thank Engines Canada and my colleagues in APEC BC and UBC. They have been instrumental for my development as a decent engineer and educator. Professors in engineering have two fundamental tasks. The first one is to train highly qualified engineers who can make a difference in, in the society. The second is we have to create new knowledge, new technology for the advancement of the society. Our contributions to advancement of new theories, new knowledge, these are recognized by our academic peers, national and international professors. And society hardly see us in those circles. They are usually small clubs. But the real honor comes from you, engineers, who use our technology in real life. And uh, therefore, the, this honor is particularly moving for me because the society and those engineers who have been using my technology in the factories all over the world, and they have really contributed to the development of my knowledge. Whenever they apply, they complain, professor, this really didn't work. That creates a new problem for us to work on. And I'm accepting this award on behalf of all of my past and present graduate students. They had a lot of contributions for my contributions to engineering. And also those practicing engineers who have been using and testing our knowledge in industry. I have my girlfriend for 40 years, and also she has been putting up with me as my wife last 33 years. <laughs> she is here and my two children who couldn't make it. And also my dear friends, schoolmate, Professor Prasad is here from UMB, and his wife, Kran. We came to Canada, New Brunswick, in 1978. I went to Air France ticket office in Paris, and I asked for a ticket to Montreal. She asked, aren't you going to go to Fredericton? I said, yes, but I said to myself, why blow the money? on the plane, right? We had a limited amount of money in our pocket. I would, have take, I would take a train, in half an hour I would be in New Brunswick. <laughs> we took the train, but it took a lot more than half an hour. <laughs> this time we took the plane from Vancouver to Toronto, and Toronto to Halifax, and we toured Cape Breton last three, four days. It's a wonderful country, and thanks for the hospitality, and thanks to you all. Thank you. <laughs>